Really good. You know, we uh, I think the two days off on the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, was a really good refresher. You know, obviously took a lot of good things uh, on Friday night's game. Disappointing, obviously, not to get the win. But, you know, took a lot of good things from it. A couple of days to refresh and, yeah, a couple of really good days of training. So, you know, everyone's everyone's feeling good. Everyone's, you know, putting in their extra work and getting ready for Thursday. Uh, he was sort of, he's looking better and better for sure. He's um, <clears throat> moving better and better. He's getting up and down on the other court a lot more. And, you know, obviously he was a, a big part of what we do. So, you know, obviously we missed him on Friday night, but now he's looking good and he'll be uh, ready to go Thursday. Is it all a concern if he plays out and you're like still not 100%? Um, I mean, we've got, you know, probably the best support staff in the league, you know, look at, watching sort of him around the clock. You know, Dan's, I know when... I've had niggling injuries in the past. Dan's texting you three, four times every afternoon. So, you know, he's sort of treatment's there around the clock if you need it. So he's in pretty good hands. And, you know, I, I'm, I know Mitch pretty well and I'm sort of not too worried. I know he'll be right by Thursday. Mitch, obviously, without and then also Vice as well. There's a sort of fourth few guys to sort of step up as far as a shooting hole goes. Yeah, for sure. Obviously, those two have been, for the last few years, have been a massive part of what they've done here at the Wildcats. And, yeah, it's definitely been an adjustment, but that's what pr the practice floor is for. You know, we go out and work on things, if put things in place. If they don't work, we sort of look to get rid of them, keep the things that do work. So, you know, we've had, you know, a few guys that are playing in a little position, but, you know, we've got to be able to, that's professional, professional sport, you've got to be able to make those adjustments on the fly and be able to step up when your number's called. How difficult has it been being able to prepare for a game where you don't really know the opposition just yet? Yeah, I mean, we've obviously played, we obviously haven't seen South East for a while and we've seen the Hawks recently. So, yeah, it's obviously all determined on tonight's game and, it is, I guess, in a way, it can be a little frustrating not knowing so close to the game, but at the same time, again, I think it comes back to professional sport. You've got to be able to lock in pretty quickly, and when you step over the white line, no matter who we're playing against, it's, it's on. Do you have a bit of a preference as to who you'd like to, to meet in those settings? Um, to be honest, I think we've had both those teams' numbers all year. You know, obviously, we split, knocked out. I think we played eight games, and we played South East five of those eight games early on, so we haven't seen them for a while, but... You know, I think we felt pretty confident against them early in the year and, you know, same with the, the Hawks. You know, we've obviously, the last game in Illawarra didn't get the result we wanted to, but I think all year we sort of had their number and it's, it's been good. So I don't, I don't really, I'm not too fussed on who we play. I think it's been about us this week so far, which has been, because we haven't known who we're going to play, but, you know, tomorrow we'll lock in once we know the result tonight. Um, I think, obviously, with Bryce out, it's a massive hole. He's has been big for what we've done all year. But at the same time, I think, I guess when his injury did happen, we still have had some games to kind of prepare and get some games under our belt without Bryce and just get a feel for what it's like. Because obviously, you know, when we need a bucket or down the stretch in the fourth quarter, we know that's, you know, Bryce's time to do his thing. So we've had games now, I think we've had four, three or four games we've sort of been able to prepare without him in that position. So we haven't just been thrown, thrown straight in the deep end come playoff time without him. So, and he, he, you know, he talks a lot of us on the sideline. He's been here every day and he's, you know, one of the best teammates you could ask for. So he's talking to everybody. He was putting, his, he's doing the best he can to try and help us, I guess, go into that playoffs without him. Yeah, it's been a very long time. <laughs> it's, um, it feels good, you know, definitely, I can, I'm not gonna lie and say I'm not nervous. Definitely a little nervous going into Thursday, you know, but. I think to have, a, to have the home crowd like we do here in Perth is it's pretty cool and to be able to play in front of that all year and then step out on Thursday night in the semi-final is going to be exciting and you know I've been talk, again talking to a lot of these guys that have been here with Perth for the last three years and have played playoffs in the past it's I'm just going to try and approach it like another game I know it is a semi-final it's a big game every game counts but I'm trying to approach it like another game and approach it the exact same way. Um, to be honest, I haven't asked like Mitch, um, any of those guys, you know, obviously it's probably, well, John's first taste of uh, the NBL and he's in the finals. So there's a few of us that have, I guess, same with Will, haven't had, haven't had a real taste of uh, finals just yet. But, you know, Nordo's really good. He's on the court, you know, I think he took a lot from Damo the last few years playing beside him and playing under him. Just that leadership role and how to, I guess, lead, lead from the front. So, yeah, he's, he plays a big part in that and he's, he's been great. As, as far as I know, he's he's in, he, and he's uh, as I said, he was moving really well today, and he's looking better and better. And I speak to Mitch daily, and he's uh, he's pretty he's feeling good. Based from a club perspective, uh, Warriors perspective, they're all looking for a repeat. More than half the teams aren't looking for a 
so apart from your success in the field, but then a lot of you weren't here last year. Yeah, I mean, I guess we are, at the end of the day, we all are part, we all, if that, you know, we are able to go all the way, we, we will all be a part of that three-peat. So, yeah, it's definitely, a lot of us are looking for our first championship and it's, it's a big thing, it's an accomplishment you want from the very first year you start in the NBL. So it's definitely been a long time for me and it's something that I've wanted for a long time. So I think at the end of the day, we've all got the same goal and that's to win the, win the championship this year, whether it's a three-peat or a, you know, a first time for a, a few of us. So I think that's the main thing, that's something we sort of spoke about. Do you feel the hunger of those blokes who haven't won one yet? We desperately want to get there as opposed to you guys who are desperately want to get to the third. Is the difference wanting to win the third stage as opposed to wanting to win again? Um, oh, to be honest, I haven't even spoke to a few of the guys that have won, like Wags. I mean, he's won, what, five or something like that, so it's probably old to him. But um, yeah, I haven't even spoke to those guys about it. I know I'm, you know, I'm definitely hungry for it, especially it's what you work for all year. You know, the day, you know, when you're here from day one for preseason, it's something that it's the goal in mind every year with every team. It's, you know, you want to be playing, give yourself the best possible chance to win a championship at the end of the year. So all the hard work you put in through the year, on and off the court, it, um, I guess it all, it all starts now. You know, this is the... The, I guess the important end of the, of you know that championship push. How proud are you of the guys? I guess you were pretty rough start to the season. Obviously, really the NBL can't bet you couldn't really turn the corner. Are you surprised that you're in this position? Um, I mean, playing against the Wildcats for you know ten years plus now, it's there's been years they've been written off and said they're not going to make the playoffs. I remember the first year Bryce came in and they were sitting in last spot, and Bryce was told he'd come in and play a few games, and that was it. But you know they ended up making it making to the finals and up winning the championship that year. So I just don't think you can ever count the Wildcats out. You know, it's pretty cool to be a part of it now and to be on, on that side of the fence, I suppose. But yeah, I just don't think, I think the way that Trev's got the, you know, all of us playing and playing together, it's, you just, you just can't write it off.